Hello. November the 11th is quite a solemn day. Throughout the Commonwealth, it's called Remembrance Day, and that commemorates the end. It started off as Armistice Day, commemorating the end of the Great War, the First World War, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 11 o'clock on the 11th of November. I believe in America it's called Veterans Day and it's still uh, commemorated, but I'm not sure that there's a silence uh, for that. Whereas through the Commonwealth, 11 o'clock is a time when you're supposed to stop what you're doing and just think about the soldiers who've died in the service of this country and uh, whichever country that happens to be. On that day, I always think of my, uh, my father's older brother, whom I never met because he was killed on active service in 1943. So yeah, I'll be remembering him. And I'm sure many of us have uh, soldiers we can remember on that day. So in honour of that, I'm going to read you a poem. This one was written in 1942 by Henry Reed. And it talks about how soldiers who don't really want to be soldiers, who are getting distracted by the, the spring flowers and the warm air and have to learn about guns and how they deal with it or not. And it's called Naming of Parts. Today, we have naming of parts. Yesterday we had daily cleaning and tomorrow morning we shall have what to do after firing. But today, today we have naming of parts. Japonica glistens like coral in all of the neighbouring gardens. And today we have naming of parts. This is the lower sling swivel, and this is the upper sling swivel, whose use you will see when you are given your slings. And this is the piling swivel, which in your case, you have not got. The branches hold in their gardens their silent, eloquent gestures, which in our case, we have not got. This is the safety catch, which is always released with an easy flick of the thumb. And please do not let me see anyone using his finger. You can do it quite easily if you have any strength in your thumb. The blossoms are fragile and motionless, never letting anyone see any of them using their finger. And this, you can see, is the bolt. The purpose of this is to open the breech, as you see. We can slide it rapidly, backwards and forwards. We call this easing the spring. And rapidly, backwards and forwards, the early bees are assaulting and fumbling the flowers. They call it easing the spring. They call it easing the spring. It's perfectly easy if you have any strength in your thumb, like the bolt and the breech and the cocking piece and the point of balance, which in our case, we have not got. And the almond blossom silent in all of the gardens and the bees going backwards and forwards. For today, we have naming of parts.